Chapter 9 Collaborating with MEP Engineers In this chapter we will demonstrate how the architectural team can collaborate with MEP engineers. We will show how to connect ARCHICAD with other applications such as AutoCAD using DXF, DWG, or IFC file formats. We will also introduce the MEP modeler and the workflow used to create and edit the 3D duct, plumbing, piping, or cable tray model to coordinate the architectural model with other disciplines. We will use MEP Modeler to import intelligent 3D MEP networks to our ARCHICAD design project from other applications ready for further editing. Finally, we will run a model analysis to find clashes between the architectural design model and MEP elements. ARCHICAD provides a smart solution which helps minimize risk during construction by finding clashes and discrepancies during the construction documentation phase. Step 1. DWG Export In this step, we will save a DWG set for the mechanical engineer. We will export all floor plans using predefined settings. The basis of the DXF DWG translation will be an empty DWG provided by the mechanical engineer and used as a template file. The mechanical engineer's office uses their own strict file and attribute system. We will precisely customize and adapt the DWG translator settings for exported files for use in their work environment. We can save time and make collaboration smoother with a quick setup at the beginning to provide the best conversion. ARCHICAD also makes it possible to save and load translator files created for communication with the extended design team so as to use the same export and import settings throughout the data exchange. After opening the COL9 PLN ARCHICAD project file, let's start with configuring the DXF DWG translator. Select the file, File Special, DXF DWG Translation Setup menu command. We have already prepared a translation file to speed up its configuration, so we need only to load it into ARCHICAD and fine tune some settings. Click the Browse button in the DXF DWG Translation Setup dialog and open the COL 911 Mechanical DWG Translator XML file from the Chapter 9 folder. As you can see, the translator appears in the list of available translators. Expand the settings in Selected Translator panel and select Drawing Unit in the left pane. We have preset the value of one DXF DWG drawing unit in ARCHICAD field to one millimeter. In the scale factor for importing texts and arrowheads field, we have selected the third radio button. Select Open Options in the left pane. We will need these options later in this chapter to import DWG files. On the right side, we have preset the following options for the various fields. For the Translate AutoCAD Blocks As field, we have set grouped 2D elements, so these blocks will become a set of lines, arcs, and so on, grouped together. Here you can also select AutoCAD Blocks to be imported as 2D elements or library parts. If you select the Library Parts option, all AutoCAD Blocks will be imported as GDL objects to ARCHICAD and created in a separate folder. For the Translate Dimension As field, we have set dimension chains. This is the best conversion from this pop-up list, as in this case AutoCAD dimension chains will come through as dimension chains. You may choose the lines and texts, or single dimension units as well. We have kept the next two options checked to create associative dimension where applicable, and to import AutoCAD hatch blocks. For the Convert Pictures to Format field, we have set the picture's original format to JPEGs, come in as JPEGs, etc. 
For the 3D data in Created Library Parts field, we have set the Binary 3D option. This option is important when you open 3D AutoCAD content as a library part using the file, Libraries and Objects, Open Object, or the file, Libraries and Objects, Import Blocks from DXF DWG menu commands. Finally, we have checked the Enable Partial Open checkbox. This function enables you to filter the converted elements by layer when you open or merge a DWG file. Only elements on checked layers will be converted and imported into ARCHICAD. Select Save Options in the left pane. We will keep every preset setting on this settings page. Click the Browse for Template DXF DWG File button, located immediately to the right of the Template File field. Browse to and select the Cole 912 Mechanical Template DWG Template file provided by the Mechanical Engineer, then click Open. The Template File field is now set to use this DWG file as a template file during translation. This file is an empty file which contains all the necessary attributes used by mechanical engineers, including layers, line types, and font styles. We will match ARCHICAD attributes to the corresponding attributes found in this AutoCAD file. A given ARCHICAD attribute will always be converted to a given attribute of the template file, and vice versa. Let's keep all the other settings in the Save Options page and go on to the Attribute Settings. Expand the Attributes list. Expand Layers and select Methods. We have set the Create Layers According to field to ARCHICAD Layers and we have set the Save Elements On field to Save Visible Layers Only. We do not need to specify any custom layers in the Create Custom Layer 4 field for various ARCHICAD items such as windows, doors, or fills. In the resulting DWG file, we will export all ARCHICAD layers to a single layer. This was another request from the mechanical engineer who likes to have all the architectural data on a single layer so it can be easily displayed or hidden in his file. Select the Layer Name Conversion item in the left pane. You can see the layers of our project in the ARCHICAD Layer column in the middle of the dialog. We pre-created this list and in it matched all layers with the Architectural Dating DWG layer. This means that all ARCHICAD layers will be converted to this layer and elements on all layers in our project file will be placed on this layer in the resulting DWG file. The mechanical engineer will be able to handle all architectural content in his file easily. In addition, importing the file does not create unnecessary additional attributes in AutoCAD. Let's see how we can quickly configure these layer pairs. Select the ARCHICAD layer, the first item in the list, and click the Edit button. The Edit Layer Conversion Item dialog appears. Here you can set up the conversion pairs by selecting an ARCHICAD layer on the left side and an AutoCAD layer found in the template file loaded previously on the right side. Please note that the DWG Template File Layers field is enabled only if a template file is set in the Save Options page. Select the zero layer from the DWG Template File Layers drop-down list on the DXF DWG side and click OK.